Yeah, Glenn and Lou, we're in Glen Avon, and it has been a shaken place here lately. In the last 10 days, they have recorded more than 400 earthquakes with magnitudes ranging between 0.8 and 3.2. The 3.2 actually happened this morning at around 4.30. While seismologists say this is not completely unusual activity, as you can imagine, if you live here and you're feeling all these small earthquakes, it will probably be concerning to you for that reason. And one of those reasons, they had a news conference this morning to talk about some of this activity they've been seeing. They say this area where this has been happening in Glen Avon, a fairly small area between Etiwanda and Cherry, they say this area is not does not have any known active faults on it however as to what could be causing it one seismologist said this this is speculation because obviously we can't get down to the the depth of the earthquakes but earthquakes occur on faults so there's probably a series of small weaknesses cracks in the underlying rock in that area and as the stress and strain builds up in the adjoining blocks of crust this just happens to be the weakest Point. And so these small, small earthquakes just pop off. Now, seismologists refer to these events as swarms and say they typically in this area last anywhere between two and seven days. We're kind of past that seven day threshold now, but they say there's really no way to predict when these earthquakes will stop. But again, they say there's no reason for concern, no indication that earthquakes like this lead to a bigger earthquake. However, however, indeed, I do believe that USGS is telling half a story. Actually, the facts are it is 100% possible for an earthquake swarm to be a precursor to a larger event. Truth is, generally, a swarm precedes or proceeds a large earthquake and dissipates in strength and quantity over a few hours to weeks. Earthquakes along with swarms have been increasing, starting in the western U.S., spreading to the eastern U.S. At first, localized single earthquakes were spreading across the U.S. Now localized swarms have been spreading across to the eastern U.S. The most eastern swarm to date has happened in Oklahoma City near a huge oil and gas fracking operation.